Hello shrimp and fish people. Just want to give you a quick update on the uh, golden bee shrimp tank. As you can see everything is just overgrown, It's uh, everything's doing great. Um, uh, originally I started with 11 or 12 golden bee shrimps, uh, they multiplied. Then there was a point where the canister filter got dirty and I uh, didn't clean it and that degraded the water quality and most of my adults died. Um, so r what you see right now is all the babies that, gr that have grown up and I've already seen a few buried so, so the legacy will continue. Uh, in the meantime I added some uh, Bloody Mary shrimps. Uh, I, I purchased seven of them and uh, they had babies and as you can see there's probably about 40, 50 if not more uh, Bloody Mary shrimps. Um, and same for the golden bees, there's about 40, 50. As for the moss, it really is due for a trim. Uh, it's it's uh, pretty much taken over the, the shrimp tank. Um, and it's at a point where there's no light uh, going through it and the, the, the bottom portion is becoming rotten and it's becoming loose. So it's just clumps sitting in the, in the tank right now. So I'm going to have to take that out and uh, retie everything. Uh, the bouquet phalandros, they're doing really nice. Uh, this is the, called uh, the Vulcan. And I'm getting a new leaf every week out of those two clumps. So that's exciting. Mini Christmas moss, same thing as the spiky. The other one was spiky moss. It's due for a trim. You can see how the coral moss is wobbling uh, because it, it has the same problem. The bottom rotted and now it's just, you know, rocking on top of the uh, little cube it's sitting on. So yeah, I'm, uh, I'm gonna probably try to make another video uh, where I'm gonna show like before and after I trim the plants. So keep an eye out for that. Also, don't forget to subscribe for future video updates and new content as well. And like the video. Thanks for watching.